Hello everybody, and um, welcome to uh, what is me talking about this discovery which I made accidentally, uh, which has become useful in glitchless speedruns for Tomb Raider 3 uh, in Area 51. Uh, you see that I just climbed up the ladder and managed to climb, well, climb straight up the ladder, climb through, climbing through the trapdoors and being able to go straight through the uh, trapdoors. And, um... I'll just show you this glitch, which has been known for many years. Um, you know, playing the level normally, you're meant to have to launch the rocket in order to be able to complete uh, the level. Um, and for many years, it was believed that without glitches, you had to launch the rocket in order to be able to complete the level. Um, but with glitches, you didn't need to launch the rocket because of this glitch that I'm doing at the moment. Um, a glitch which can only be done um, if the uh, trapdoors are present and you are able to stand on top of the first trapdoor. Um, you know, you're meant to, doing it normally, you're meant to have to launch the rocket which causes the trapdoors to collapse because the trapdoors stop you from being able to climb up the ladders which you need to do in order to be able to complete the level. Um, and um, that glitch which I used can only be done if the trapdoors haven't collapsed because it requires you to stand on top of the first trapdoor which can only be done if the trapdoors are present so launching the rocket and making the trapdoors collapse stops you from being able to do that glitch um, but um, without glitches it was believed that you had to launch the rocket that was until I accidentally made the discovery of it being possible to climb up the ladders and go straight through the trapdoors. And um, this enemy here, um, you have to avoid being seen by this enemy and um, proceed. And then there's another enemy up ahead shortly, and when he sees you, it alerts the enemy that I just avoided, and he runs to a switch to trigger lasers, and by not being seen by that enemy and being seen by this enemy and going about things this way, it causes a flip map, which results in you being able to travel straight through the trapdoors and even though it possibly looks like a glitch, um, it's not classed as a glitch, and so it is allowed in um, glitchless speedruns as well as um, other glitchless challenges or playthroughs. And it saves the elite speedrunners about, I think, between four to five minutes. Um, I did a challenge for um, this level um, well I, I did a challenge it was a um, keeping the allies alive challenge where I did the levels in Tomb Raider 2, Tomb Raider 3 and Tomb Raider Last Revelation which contain allies and had to keep all of the allies alive wasn't allowed to have a single ally get killed there were other restrictions as well, but for this level, 
obviously I had to keep the prisoners alive. And um, even though it probably wasn't necessary, I avoided the fur, well, the, the, um, the enemy who you have to avoid being seen by, um, I made sure that he didn't spot me as a way of ensuring the safety of the prisoner who's in a locked room within that area. But this probably wasn't necessary because the prisoner is in a locked room and providing you don't release him, he presumably wouldn't be able to come into contact with the enemy. Um, so I probably didn't need to avoid being seen by the enemy, but I still chose to avoid the enemy, thinking that he wouldn't get alerted. Um, and, um, and then when I came here, I tried to... Well, glitches were allowed, so I tried to do the glitch that I showed you, which requires standing on top of the first trapdoor, but I fell straight through and couldn't do the glitch. Um, which struck me as an obstacle, but it didn't stop me because I was able to just climb up the ladder through the trapdoors and proceed like that. And I had no idea what the cause was. I was really puzzled by it, but fortunately I was recording at the time. Um, so um, I you know, had it on record and I uploaded a video of it onto YouTube showing um, what happened. And um, I just uh, want to say that um, when you do avoid being spotted by this enemy and do proceed further, it's very important that you don't backtrack to this area um, because that results in um, the trick not working. It results in you not being able to travel through the trapdoors and I'm about to show you this in action. Okay, so he's been alerted. I'm just backtracking. Made it to here. And um, now I'm going to go to Rocket and um, I won't be able to climb through the trapdoors. There, yeah, there you see, I'm stuck. I can't climb any higher. And um, you also have to ensure that this enemy doesn't get killed um, because if he gets killed, then even if he gets killed in a way where he doesn't spot you, um, um, the flip map won't work because, you know, when the next enemy sees you, this enemy has to get alerted and go to the switch, um, which he can't do if he's dead. So if he gets killed, then even if it's in a way where he doesn't spot you, the trick still won't work. I showed you him getting killed by the prisoner without noticing me, and you can see the uh, trick hasn't worked. Um, when I stumbled upon this, I mean, I suppose it's a good thing that I was playing with glitches because... The fact that I was playing with glitches meant that I um, tried to do the glitch, which required needing to stand on top of the first trapdoor, but that resulted in me falling through, which made me aware of the fact that I was able to travel through the trapdoors. If I'd been doing it glitchlessly, then I probably would have just launched the rocket 
you know, collapse in the trapdoors and then never would have realised that it was possible to travel through the trapdoors. And um, I, um, I've, I thought that it was probably just some sort of one-off blip and that no one would get to the bottom of what the cause was. Um, and um, I also thought that it wouldn't, that there was no potential for it to be useful because I assumed that it would be a glitch. Um, and, you know, the glitched way of doing that bit um, yeah, which requires you standing on top of the first trapdoor, I think is faster than climbing up the ladders through the trapdoors. So I didn't think that it would be useful because I thought that it would be a glitch and that the glitched alternative is faster. Um, but I was wrong um, because it's not classed as a glitch it can be done in glitchless speedruns and it's faster than any glitchless alternative by about four or five minutes going at the pace of an elite speedrunner. And also a POW managed to figure out what the cause was. They saw my video um, and... Um, looked into it and managed to figure out what the cause was and um, and now this is being used in glitchless speedruns and it's um, you know it's a handy shortcut and um, I was watching uh, footy do a speed run for this game a glitchless speed run I've seen many of his speed runs you know, he's one of the um, heavyweights as far as Tomb Raider speedrunning is concerned. And I watched this speedrun, well, I watched him do a glitchless speedrun for Tomb Raider 3 without knowing that um, it had been discovered what the cause was, you know, without knowing it, it had been discovered that you're able to do this, you know, how to do it. And um, I saw him, you know, climb up the ladders through the trapdoors, and I just thought, hold on a minute, this is what I did. And um, he did mention about myself and a pal, and the video that I uploaded, plus the video that a pal uploaded. Um, and then he explained how it's done. Um, and um, he then posted my video plus a pal's video. I think it was either in the description or the comments or maybe both. Um, and I was really thrilled to have seen that somebody had managed to figure out what the cause was and that the discovery was useful. Um, and... I just wanted to do another video of this discovery, just talking about how I accidentally stumbled upon this discovery, you know, stumbled upon it by complete fluke, and how a pal managed to figure out what the cause was, and just how, you know, delighted I am about it all. Um, and... Um, as far as I'm concerned, a POW deserves most of the credit um, because they demonstrated sophistication. Um, you know, they investigated it. They managed to get to the bottom of it. They managed to figure out how it was done. All I did was get lucky. Um, but I'm very pleased that I managed to have the role that I did have, you know, even though it was, you know, the result of a fluke, the result of an accident, the re result of luck. And um, I just want to say thumbs up to a pal 
and um, there's not really much more I can say. Um, yeah, that is pretty much that. Um, and um, I would like to thank those of you for watching this video. And um, it was great to be able to revisit this discovery.